Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Full on Drama. Day I have brought you petty revenge story. Stick me with hidden charges, I'll show you. So this past Christmas, my missus and I purchased one of our 9 years old son's Santa gifts from a certain UK sports retail company that also have many stores here in Ireland as well. It was a football rebounder, kinda like a trampoline that you kick the ball at and it bounces back to you. Anyway, we purchased it from their Irish website and thought nothing more of it. A few days go by and we get a notification from a certain brown uniformed courier company that there are customs charges due on something. And as you can imagine we've bought many things for the kids so we had to double check what we've ordered and we didn't have anything left that was being imported so we naturally assumed it was a scam. So I told the wife to call the company and find out who shipped it. And it was a different courier company based in the UK. After a bit of digging and investigating it turns out that it's our rebounder. They had shipped it from the UK, via a local carrier, to the brown uniformed guys to deliver to us. Now, my wife and I are both on disability so an additional charge of almost 50 euros when you're both already on a fixed income is harsh, especially at Christmas so I told her to pay it and I'd deal with the retailer. The first day I called, I had to call three times being stuck on hold for at least 20 minutes each time, but I was patient and polite because I've worked in a call center before so I knew those people are only doing their job. But I asked to speak to a manager and was promised a call back each time that never happened. The second day was quite similar. The third day I was starting to get annoyed so called back, waiting even longer on hold and finally wasn't taking this shit any longer. I told the rep that all I wanted was the 50 euros back because our consumer rights in Ireland dictate that a person must be informed of any additional charges on a purchase, at the very latest, by the final checkout screen. And in this case, there was nothing to show that. And I could easily replicate that issue by putting the same item in my basket and going all the way to the checkout screen again and there was nothing saying we'd have to pay import charges. The rep was indifferent to the situation but tried to help and what he said sent me over the edge. He offered me a measly 20 euros gift voucher to use on their website. But more importantly, he read a statement to me. He said, we advise our customers that there may be due charges delivery duty and paid, that is customs charges on any item that gets shipped outside of the UK. Then I asked him where it states this information and he paused, then said he didn't actually know. I said, well I know one thing, it doesn't say it anywhere on this transaction because I've checked and because this is a violation of my consumer rights. I'm going to give your company one last chance to make this right. Have your manager call me within the next 60 minutes or I'm going to post this entire debacle on LinkedIn and link every senior officer in your company. Then I hung up the phone and waited. Yet again, no call. The next day I went on LinkedIn and followed through on my promise. I created a post detailing what they had done by sticking us with hidden charges and that they were ignoring our requests for a manager and everything they said and did. Then I tagged every senior officer at that company from the regional managers, through the European directors, all the way to the CEO, and I shamed them for how they operate their company. This, ladies and gentlemen, was now an act of war. Shortly after I posted that I noticed that they took down the item from their website in an attempt to hide this, but they must have thought in a simpleton that doesn't understand how the internet works. They didn't realize that when you searched for rebounder on their site, that it shows the item in question, so I took a screenshot of that. Then another of the item page that was now missing, but then I did a Google cache search for the same page and found a version from two days prior happily showing the item. Then I added a comment to my original post highlighting how they were trying to hide it with the evidence and trolling them for their heinous behavior especially at Christmas. Then I tagged and shamed all the senior officers again. And at this point it was really starting to get some attention, not only publicly, but three people in incognito mode viewed my profile. I wonder who they could have been. So naturally, I took a screenshot of the three mysterious visitors listed on my profile and did the same thing. Commented on my own post, highlighting it and trolling them for their incompetence. The next morning, I got a call from a senior exec at their head office in the UK practically licking my boots with apologies, asking what she can do to make this right. I told her I originally only wanted my 50 euros back as it wasn't fair, nor even legal, that I had to pay it. But since I had to go to such lengths to get their attention now I wanted my 50 euros back, a full refund on my entire purchase, and I wanted to keep the product. That was the only thing that would make this go away. She asked for a couple of hours to fix it and I said okay. 
About an hour later, I got another call from her again apologizing. She asked for my PayPal address where she sent the 50 euros, then she refunded the whole purchase, and she let us keep the product. Obviously, I thanked her for her help because at that stage, I was just happy it was over, but I'll be fucked if I'll let anyone walk all over my family even if they are a 58 million pounds annual company. The most of the story here is, don't take bullshit from anyone. I may be just one man, but my son's view of Santa is far more valuable to me than the opinion of some retail chain that doesn't care about its customers, nor how it operates ethically. Please like, share, and subscribe.